negotiating a higher contract offer. That's what this video is all about. Hi there, I'm Dave Gerrish from the IT Contracting Academy. Now, back in 1996, I got offered my first ever contract. It was for £240 a day. But this other company that I was already doing work with wanted to hire me as a contractor too. And so they came back with the same offer of £240 a day. So I was initially pleased that they'd made the offer, but disappointed that they didn't counter the offer that I'd been honest and told them my offer was 240 a day, and they just came back and matched it. So what can you do in a situation like that? Well, what I did was, in a nice way, I just replied saying, look, my other offer is 240 pounds a day. I was hoping if you wanted to secure my services, then you would offer me something more. And straight away, I got an offer back of £260 a day, so £20 a day more. So that was enough for me because I liked the company, I liked the role, I wanted to do that contract really in my heart of hearts, my gut feeling, and so I took that offer and I was massively grateful for getting that extra £20 a day. So if you're faced with a similar, similar situation where you've got an offer on the table, if you're having other interviews and there's a chance of other offers, then of course what you can do, like again I've done in the past, I had an offer for £500 a day for Barclays Capital and I had another company, News International, interested in my services as well. I still wasn't sure which contract I wanted to go for, so I said to both of them, I think, that if you could increase the rate, that would be fantastic and that would make me make a decision immediately. And I think I might have said that to both agencies and not trying to play them off against each other, but I just wanted to see if one of the clients really wanted me more than the other. And I think Barcap came back with, no, that's their budget, 500 pounds a day, that's it, really want you. But News International came back with £525 a day, so they made an extra £25 a day offer, which was fantastic. So you can only sort of ask that question once, because then it was down to me to work out which role I really wanted. Did I want the bar cap role? Did I want the News International role with the elevated rate? Now, as it turns out for me, I went for the Barclays Capital role, even though it was less money because I just had that gut feeling. I just wanted Barclays Capital on my CV. The work looked better. It looked more interesting, maybe. Obviously, you have no idea what the project's really going to be like, but I went for Barclays Capital. So I actually took the lower rate offer. So that's something you can do, is if you've got two offers there, you can just see if one of them is willing to up their rate and then still make an informed decision based on your gut feeling and what contract you really want. So I hope that helps you. If you've just got one offer on the table, then you could always go back to the agency and say, if the client was willing to up their rate slightly, I would make a decision today based on that new rate. So that then gives the recruiter some ammunition to go back to the hiring manager and say, Dave's really interested in this role. Is there any chance we can get a little bit more rate for him and he will make a decision today? Now, if you ask that in the right way, I believe that's okay. The client may come back and say, no, they can't do it. Maybe they've got budget limitations, budget restraints, or they're just not willing to budge. And that's fair enough, but at least you've asked once. If they come back and say, yes, we can do 10 pounds a day or 20 pounds a day, well, at least you've asked. If you don't ask, you don't get. I think it's okay to ask once. If you kept asking the same question, you're gonna come across as annoying and just after the money. So I definitely think you can ask for a rate increase, but just bear in mind, if the contract role was advertised at 500 pounds a day, then go in and try and ask him for 550, maybe a little bit of a stretch. But anyway, I hope that helps you in your contract negotiations when you're starting out on a first contract or any new contract. I hope that's useful.